Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to look at this enclosure for AMS light for Bamboo Lab one printers. I typically store my filament inside these cereal box containers and pack them with silica bags. For the most part, that works just fine. But there are times where after the print is finished, I'll leave my spool sitting on AMS and forget all about them. Next time I start up my print, I find that the filament has become brittle, results in worse print quality than when it was fresh out of the box excessive stringing, weak prints, and uneven extrusion, all the problems associated with filament absorbing moisture from the air. This is where the enclosure for AMS Lite will come to the rescue. Look at what else it offers. With the enclosure installed, you can stand this unit up vertically, saving space on your workstation. All right, let's see what you'll get if you were to purchase this product. Note, the affiliate link is down in the description, We'll begin by removing the contents of this box, take out bottom enclosure covers, they are numbered 1 to 4. We will take the cover that is numbered 1 and 2 and join them together, making sure they're all aligned. These two covers will be secured using this drying box where your silica bags will be stored. Press down on the drying box so it securely latches the two covers. Repeat the same process for cover 3 and 4. Now let's visit your AMS light and remove the four rollers. Please note that these rollers are color-coded, which will help us in installing them correctly later on. Using the assembled covers, place them into the corresponding spots on the AMS light and secure them using the rollers. For us to be able to install the filament inside this enclosure, you'll first have to feed the head of the filament into the AMS light before putting filament spool on the roller. This is because the enclosure is so compact, it will barely have any room for your fingers to push the filament in. For step number five, we're going to install desiccant bags inside the drying box. I was able to fit two bags in each compartment. Please note that the desiccant is a consumable, which means that eventually you'll need to replace them. Step number six will require us to assemble these plastic latching locks, which I was pretty scared about installing, as they seemed like they were going to snap or worse, break the actual cover. Now, if you're a designer or prototyping a new product, this is where today's sponsor, PCBWay, can help you out. PCBWay is currently holding a big Christmas sale and one of the offers feature a UTR8100 transparent and SOMOS LEDO material. UTR8100 offers glass-like clarity to your models, whereas SOMOS LEDO features excellent waterproof properties. You can request a free quote from PCBWay by uploading your model that you like printed in these materials and take advantage of the Christmas sale they are currently holding. Give PCBWay a visit to make your project into reality. All of these latches installed perfectly fine, despite my worry that they will snap. For step number seven, we have to install eight legs. Also, you'll have to fasten these side center buckles. This will ensure that the top covers are properly sealed against the enclosure with the help of this O-ring that spans the perimeter of the cover. And to finish this assembly, install these corresponding numbers for AMS light, and now the installation is complete. Let me know what you think of this enclosure, and will this be a Christmas present you'll be buying for yourself? I really like the fact that you can monitor the humidity levels via the hydrometers, which will tell you exactly when you need to replace the silica bags and dry your filament. Also, it allows me to leave the filament on the AMS instead of taking it off and storing it away. The price on Amazon is $89.99 USD, which is a little bit more than the enclosure you can print yourself, when you consider the cost of filament and all the accessories you need to buy. I wanted to say a big thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring today's video. Thank you all for watching, and I wish you all a happy holiday season.